Hi all, in this session I am going to discuss about system Verilog arrays. We will see what is array and what are the types of arrays and methods available in arrays. So an array is a collection of variables all of the same type. So arrays is nothing but a, it, a group, it is a group of elements, okay, group of variables. Here in arrays we store the elements uh, of the homogeneous type, homogeneous nothing but elements of the same data type. Here array is a collection of variables all of the same type and it can be accessed using the name of that array with one or more indices. So we can access the array elements with the help of index. Okay. In arrays we have three types static or pixel size array, dynamic array and associative array. These are all the three main types of an array. In this in these three types we have uh, some more types of okay. Those are nothing but single dimensional array, multi-dimensional array and packed and unpacked array. So in multi-dimensional, uh, if this uh, dimension is more than one, so two-dimensional array, three-dimensional array, we have. Uh, mostly we use this two-dimensional and three-dimensional array in multi-dimensional array. So we will see one by one. First one is fixed size array. So as the name suggests, fixed size, the size of the array will be fixed throughout the simulation. Array size is, if the array size is fixed throughout the simulation, then it is called the fixed size array. So by default, the array will be initialed with value 0. So after the after you declaring the uh, this fixed size array, if you want to access the element of the particular index, you will get the value 0 only. Because by default, the array will be initialed with value 0. This is before you initialize the values, if you want to access the uh, value, you will get the value 0. Because by default, the array will be initialed with value 0. In fixed size array, we have single dimensional, multi dimensional array. Okay. We will see first single dimensional array. Single dimensional means the dimension will be single, the only one direction. Okay. Direction of the array is uh, it, the linearly, the elements will be stored in single dimensional array. As you can see, it looks like this single dimensional array. This is how we declare the single dimensional fixed size array. Okay. Int array of 6. Here, uh, in throughout the simulation, the array size will be 6 only. So you can you cannot change at the runtime or uh, any time. Okay, the size will be fixed throughout the simulation. Int the array is type of int. That means you can store the elements of the int data type. Okay, we can also written like this int array of 0 down to 5. So we can also write uh, this uh, 6 like this 0 down to 5. And here one more is there declaration and assignment int array of 3 means size will be 3 and uh, elements you can store is 3 elements 1 2 3 okay also we can write like this our first declaration and then initialization int array of 3 for each index for particular index we can uh, initialize separately the values see uh, for 0th index we are assigning 1 1 index we are assigning 2 for second index we are assigning 3 like this also we can uh, declare and initialize the arrays, fixed size arrays. Next one is multi-dimensional array. Multi-dimensional array, if you know, we know that by the name only. If the dimension is more than one, we can call it as a multi-dimensional array. Here, a multi-dimensional array is also known as an array of an array. So, it's a matrix of rows and columns. We know this multi-dimensional, right? Rows and columns. So, here we have two-dimensional array. 3 dimensional array. Multi dimensional means more than 1 dimension. So, mostly we use 2 dimensional, 3 dimensional arrays. Okay. This is how the 2 dimensional array looks like. Here, rows and columns. I told you. Uh, it's a matrix of rows and columns. Okay. This is how we write, how we declare the 2 dimensional array. Here, you have to uh, mention 2 square braces. The first one shows the rows and second one uh, square braces uh, indicates the column. Okay. Here, the total number of elements is 6, 2, 12 elements. Okay. Like this, 6, six rows and 2 columns. In each uh, row, we have 2 columns. It, li it shows like this. Okay. Here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here 12 elements. That means 6 cross 2 is 12, right? So here we can store 12 elements. This is inter type. And if you want to assign the value for the particular index, what you have to do is, you want to here, how you can access this 100 value array of 0, 1. That means 0 through 1 means first column. 
ओके फर्स्ट वन इज रो सेकेंड वन इज कॉलम जीरो थ्रो फर्स्ट कॉलम हियर यू विल गेट द वैल्यू हंड्रेड और यू कैन असाइन द वैल्यू हंड्रेड एंड थ्री डायमेंशन अरे इज सेम लाइक टू डायमेंशन अरे ओनली वन मोर स्क्वेर बेस विल कम सो थ्री डायमेंशन राइट द फर्स्ट वन इज रो कॉलम एंड दिस थ्री इज हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स यू कैन स्टोर इन दैट दैट इंडेक्स ओके सेकेंड रो सेकेंड कॉलम लाइक दिस नॉट सेकेंड रो सेकेंड कॉलम this is the row this is the column two rows two column and three uh, values you can store in that particular box like this okay the total number of elements is nothing but 2 cross 2 cross 3 2 2 4 4 3 12 12 elements and if you want to initialize the particular value uh, for the particular index you can write like this 0 th uh, 0 row first column in that the first element okay i will show you here you can understand you can initialize the values like this 2 2 3 means two rows this is one row this is second row two columns this one is this first column second column this this should come here you can understand here so no problem first column second column and three elements in each box i i told you right 1 2 3 three elements in each box three elements like this so here you can see 1 2 3 if it is in a bit type since it has a int type you can store 1 2 3 but if it is in a bit type you can store 0 1 1 like this bits width will be there that is indicated by the last row okay row column and the number of elements you can store in that particular box this is how we write the three dimensional array